Welcome back. I'm Diane Calkin with Utterly Simple Designs, and it's time for block number seven of our Pennsylvania patchwork. Here's the picture of the quilt. It's on our website with all the fabric requirements and cutting instructions. Today, we're going to do block number seven, and the instructions for one through six blocks are also on our website, utterlysimple.com. Let's get started. Block number seven for July is called Whirlwind. It's a 12 and a half inch unfinished block. We're gonna cut two blue squares, six and seven eighths inch each, two black squares, five and an eighth inches each, and two light purple squares, five and an eighth inches. After you cut those squares, we're gonna cut them in half diagonally, all of them. The first thing then we're gonna do is we're going to lay out the block because I think then it's easier to see. Here's the block laid out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew these two triangles together along this seam. It's very important that they stay in this order or you won't get a nice whirlwind pinwheel kind of look. So I'm going to lay them right here and I'm going to put a pin where I want to sew on each one so that I don't get mixed up, and then we'll be ready for the next step. I'll straighten those out when I actually sew them. It's very important that when you look at it, facing it like this toward you, the black is always gonna be on this side. And here they all are. I wanted to show you that the black is always on the same side and trim off the dog ears, which I did on the others, and then you can lay them back into place. Now, the next thing, as you can imagine, that we're going to do is we're gonna sew the blue triangle to this. And this, again, will, this one will be easier to see, and you just line it up and sew it, then press it open. I'm gonna take that to my machine and do that now. And here we are with it all sewn. I've trimmed all the dog ears except this one. We're gonna trim that. It's looking good so far. Let me try that again. This, uh, I put this down the wrong way, so let me switch that. So these two together and these two together and then the two rows together. Sorry about that. This is how it should be laid out. Here are the two rows sewn together, and I just wanted to stop here for a second and show you that what I did was I ironed my seam towards the blue and towards the blue. So now when I put these together, I'm going to have a seam, a seam going in each direction. It's going to lay nice and flat. And here we have it. Block number seven, whirlwind complete. If you thought this was fun, hit the like button and remember to subscribe. Uh, to our channel and leave any comments and questions below and we'll be happy to get right back to you. Also, um, you know, if you finish this block, post it on our Facebook page. We would love to see the things that you've done. Um, remember anything you need to look up again or you can rewatch videos or go to our website, utterlysimple.com and it has all of the fabric requirements, all the cutting instructions and all of the blocks and this block will also be posted there. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next month for block number eight.